And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2018 Japan, K-Festa number one. Here at the Saitama Super Arena in the main arena configuration, 15,000 screaming fans ready for this action to start. In the red corner, we've got Takumi Yokoyama taking on, in the blue, Tatsuya Oiwa. These guys are going to touch them up and head to their corners. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what happens in the ring this evening. Well, uh, yeah, in the red corner, Takumi Yokoyama at only 19 years of age. Mm -hmm. Seven wins, one defeat. And Tatsuya Oiwa uh, with 12 wins and four defeats at 26 years old. So a pretty young fighter uh, for this level of a tournament. That's right, you're right. To, to be in the ring there at, uh, here at the Saitama Super Arena, you know, 19 years old, he's got to be feeling some nerves and pressure. He is the slightly taller fighter, so we'll see if he can take advantage of his uh, reach here in the first round. Maybe establish the jab in front Ooh. of him. Big punch by Oiwa. Mm. Yeah, Oiwa, Oiwa probably looking to get inside <laughs> a little bit and rain some blows over the top. That big overhand right. Right, is exchanging some heavy blows here in the middle of the ring. That's right. This is our reserve match for the K1 Super Featherweight World Championship Tournament. So the winner here has an opportunity to make it into the tournament if there's an injury or a dropout along the way. So definitely a lot on the line here. These guys want to get the win and possibly get their way into the tournament. So far, it seems that both fighters are relatively even matched. Yeah, you're right. They're kind of going through a bit of a feel out, feeling out process here. Takumi establishing the jab a little bit, trying to find his length. Oiwa would be well served to chop some low kicks. Work yeah, his way in. inside. Oiwa ate a couple there, looking to want to stand his ground. Not give too much. Uh, ooh, big combo there by Yokoyama. Shot there, yeah, by Takumi. For only having seven uh, seven wins, eight matches total, he's got four KOs. Um, the fighter in the red corner does. So he's definitely got some hard hard punches and the ability to end it before we go to a decision. Ooh. Big, big hits going back and forth, and both fighters just letting their defense absorb. Yeah, both still kind of, kind of getting, getting, doing some work, but a little tentative, a little hesitant, feeling it out a little bit here in the first round. Me there throwing it, using the jab a little bit more. He's, that, he's got that reach advantage. He can make use of that thing. He's got to watch out, though, for Owe was stepping in with that overhand right. Yeah, that counter is, looks dangerous. The second time he's throwing it, so you know he wants to use it. That's right. If he steps and times the jab, he can sort of corkscrew it over Takumi's hand and land right on the jaw. Yeah, he's going he's for it. Careful. He really wants that to connect. And Takumi has to be careful because his, his, uh, his, his, his guard is... Pretty low mm. in his back hand there, in his, his right hand. You're right, he kind of is letting the lead hand drop a little bit, and especially with the big overhand right possibility from Oiwa, that's kind of a dangerous way to hold your guard. Yeah. We'll see what happens here in the second round. But imagine getting instructions here in the corner um, to pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah. Pretty even round right there. Yeah, very, very even round, in my opinion. What do you think we'll see coming out the gate for the second round here? I think we'll see Oiwa up the pressure a little bit. Um, step in. He definitely wants that overhand right. Um, if he steps in and times it, he can land it. Um, once again, I think Takumi's probably going to hang a little bit on the outside and use that front kick and jab and set up an opportunity for his straight right, a shot right down the middle. Let's see, yeah. Um Takumi definitely doing lots of head movement, wanted to box it out mm. a little bit more, but definitely uh, has the uh, ability to bring his kicks up high. Mm. So uh, 
quite a bit in the first round. There's something happening here. Yeah, Drop really. something. And kick it off again. Okay, let's see. Yeah, both these guys are real slick, slick boxers. Not a whole lot of kicks here. Ooh. Head, head movement there from Takumi Yokoyama. Definitely a slick boxer. I think Owe would be well, well served to chop the leg a bit. When you're dropping his head down, it's quite dangerous to do that in a kickboxing match. Because mm -hmm. Owe just has to bring up his knee. Oop. Yeah, there's that high kick you were talking about. That's a good weapon for him. Ooh, little and again. Brazilian, nice. Putting a little whip on it there, yeah. almost doing it Brazilian kick style. Actually, ooh, there goes that knee. Corner of ooh. ooh, there's that big right. Ooh, just swinging. A little bit wild. Mm. Mm. He was definitely got some power. He has to be careful he doesn't run himself into a counter. Doing a good job, though, finally yeah. landing that looping overhand. He caught him. Ooh. Hmm? I could go into a knee there, yeah. that's a good Ooh. choice. Yeah, very good choice. Change it up. I'd like to see him definitely slip boxing. If he can use his lower body a little bit too, he'll make more opportunities to land uh, land that one too. Yeah. Right down the middle. Good hit movement there too. Definitely have to diversify his attack. Mm -hmm. It seems that Oiwa might be the more powerful hitter mm -hmm. right here. A little bit more raw, a little bit more power. Yeah. I, mean, I think you're right, a little, little more wild. Ooh, nice uppercut, but it was met with Oiwa's tight guard. It's a clean shot. If, if Yokoyama can take advantage of those moments Ooh. when he lands a good punch and put a big blow after, he'll rack up points and um, take this round back. Because at this point, Oiwa probably has landed the cleanest yeah, he, shot yeah, so far. He definitely pulled ahead. Amazing hook. Ooh! Great combos there. No, no clinching. Referee's gonna break that up right away. No clinching in the K1 rule set. Good head movement by Takumi. I agree. I really like his head movement. If he can set up a counter with that, it can be really effective. We will see something. He's feeling something, but with 20 seconds left, let's see. Ooh, nice knee, nice knee. Oh, a little low there. I mean, the thing with Oiwa is he, he's got that overhand right, but he's already shown that to his opponent now, so Yokoyama's going to be wary of that. It's going to make it that much harder for him to land the big overhand shot. Oh, definitely. He's got to mix it up a little bit, create, create some more opportunities to land that big thing. Well, great round. Mm -hmm. Good action. Yeah. I totally agree. Good round by both fighters, but yeah, uh, Oiwa with that clean shot, he couldn't mm -hmm. miss that. Yeah, I think that probably you know gives him the round there. Um, but a, a great, um, you know, great job, Yokoyama hanging in there. Yeah, that right there, that right. Yeah, really clean, good series there. Yeah. But Takumi just keeping. Keeping himself on the move, making himself a moving mm. target, mm. not backing up to the ropes too much. Really good defense there. Yep, keeping his head moving, not letting too many clean shots through. We'll see Takumi definitely needs to come out and have a big round here in the third, though. I mm -hmm. imagine his corner is giving him those instructions. He was having great luck with the knee. I'd like to see him go back yeah. to some, uh, yeah, knees some, yeah. to the body and up the middle to the chin. Or, yeah. Both fighters made, made, made some use with the knees the, the second round as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Oiwa did use them to set up that, that uh, nice right mm -hmm. as well. I'll bring up the kick or something. Ooh, nice yeah. uppercut. I like that move. Mm -hmm. Switching through on the stance there. A real slick footwork from Takumi. This is, this is the pace he needs to have. Yeah. It's that big right again, yeah. Doing a good job though, just being raw yeah. and, and blasting away and, and working uh, Takumi into the corner. Ooh, nice, nice combo there. Yeah, there's a little bit of that head movement and follow up with a good kick. Boy, with that powerful right, kind of knocked.
Takumi off balance slightly, but he, Takumi has recovered. You know, when the judges see something like that, even if it's not a super clean shot, when you knock your opponent off balance, uh, it's definitely going to be points, points for you. No clinching. Start it up again. Ooh, nice jab there. Ooh, another big, ooh. Slugfest. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Ooh, yeah. Yuki Yama just a little bit sharper with his punches, but a little, uh, a little bit more powerful. Yeah. When he, when he connects, you can tell. Mm, to me, with some good, good head movement and jabs there again. These guys are happy ooh. to punch it out. With the good one, too, but... Ooh, nice spinning back fist. Just misses the mark. Ooh, and with Oiwa coming forward with his head a little low like it is, Nakayama could definitely send a knee up the middle. Let's see, if, be see if he can. Up oh, that big right is really something dangerous, man. Mm -hmm. was big right. He he lets it fly. <laughs> That's right. He certainly does. He's got a lot of pressure too. He's, he's kind of not letting Yokoyama find his rhythm. He's keeping him on his back foot. Yokoyama's having to fight a bit more probably defensively than he'd like to. Mm. Only 30 seconds left in this third round. Something, something has to happen. A nice knee there. That's right. Really a pretty even round here. Yuki has got to make something big happen to steal this. Ooh. Thing. Oh, there you go. That right again. That one, two. It's another clean shot. The judges are going to see that and score that for a 15 seconds. He's definitely found a home for that looping hand. Oof. Overhand right. Yeah, this, the, the, the power differential between the punches might bring Oiwa out of, uh, ahead. Mm, I think he might edge it out here. Really, really a great reserve match. <laughs> yeah, really, really good reserve match, yeah. Nice, really. Uh, nice matchup there between a little more sort of clean, crisp boxing, and a bit more power yeah. um, and pressure from the fighter in the blue. And just general grit. <laughs> he kept mm. his head down and trucked forward that entire... The entire fight. You can That's tell really, he's tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not not necessarily the kind of match you want to have when you could possibly be making your way into the tournament. Yeah. Um, but a win is a win. We'll see what happens here. And great job from the young young fighter. Yeah, nineteen from nineteen years old. He he fights a lot of very mature oh, yeah. for uh, his age. He has a very mature uh, fight, fighting style and an approach as well. Mm. I think you're exactly right. He's uh, real composed, real sharp boxing. Let's see what the judges have to say here. That big right hand. Mm -hmm. Hold ahead. Yeah, yep. I think that's the right call. Yeah. Um, although it was a real close matchup. It was a great matchup, yeah. The cleaner hits were, were had by Oiwa in that, and just like you said, that looping overhand right, finding its mark. Yeah, well, Takumi continues fighting until he's uh, Oiwa's age. <laughs> He'll be some champion material there. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah, I'm, I definitely uh, look forward to seeing more action from him. Well, there you have it in this reserve match at K1 World Grand Prix 2018 Japan, K Festa 1 in the Saitama Super Arena main configuration. Catch you next time.